All right, we're rolling. It is Sunday morning. I could hear the sound of uh, exotic engines racing down the Merritt, which is a few miles from here. We're probably three to five miles away from Waveney. We're going to take this 1948 MGTC uh, to Caffeine and Carbs. Uh, running a little late, but that's the way. Uh, beneath my feet, through various iron and some wood tidbits, you hear the purr of the four-cylinder. 1.x liter x pag uh, British engine, and we're off. Uh, so my goal as this pet project is to get some video of um, of uh, some cool cars, uh, talk to some owners about what makes those cars unique and different, and uh, navigate this vehicle safely. Of course. Oh, I did not inflate tires. Alright, I'll spare you the wind noise as we transit here. Merritt Parkway, leaves start in a turn. Classic fall weather. Uh, no heat in the MG, uh, but full air conditioning mode, as you can see there. Uh, we're in the lead up here to Waveney Park for the final caffeine and carbs of 2022. This is my first time ever interviewing people and really doing this kind of video. Video isn't quite my thing, uh, so we'll see how it works out. It's kind of been I guess it'll be long form. Um, my real goal is to interview owners and drivers, get their stories, get little things about what makes each car different or special. Um, and yeah, this is really just a celebration of a bunch of people who really love cars. Anyway, we're packed in the uh, in the courtyard here. The MG got some top billing here. I think in a second you'll see the Mosler and we'll uh, roll into our, our first owner interview. How's it going? Hi, good morning. So uh, tell me something new or different about this car that you wouldn't see on another car or something different about it. Well, this car is, is kind of unique. It was never sold here. It was uh, imported only. So the way you had to get it here was either order it in Europe and bring it over, or if you were a serviceman, you were able to ship it back, government uh, ship it back for free. Yeah, so that was really worked out nice. Uh, that's cool. So this here, I don't know why they never sold this here. This is a very unique car. Uh, it, it's a great family car. Five passenger, two trunks. I have a trunk in the front and a trunk in the back. So I always the engine then? The engine, I, I usually leave that at home. Going green, going green. There you go. <laughs> but the engine is under the floor in the back. Okay. So it's a pancake motor, four cylinder. Okay. And this is this is basically on the same platform as the square back and the fast back. Gotcha. So gotcha. those you most people are more familiar with yeah. because they are they were sold here. This was never sold here. Yeah. So that's why everybody, some people look at it and say, what is it? Yeah. They have no idea. They've never seen one before. So yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. So it, it's pretty cool. How, I how's it. driving it? Oh, I, great. A lot more horsepower than the um, uh, Beetle. Okay. All right. So it's about 55 horsepower. It's a dual carb motor. This is a super model. So this is like Tesla uh, territory. Yeah. So <laughs> comparatively, this is yeah, yeah, right? comparatively. But um, yeah. So I'm having oh, wow. a lot of fun with it. A lot of people enjoy it. Um, and a lot of people, believe it or not, there are several people here that have great memories with this car. Excellent. Only a few, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's rare to find <laughs> yeah. yeah, only oh, that's a few. Beautiful. I love this, uh, the crest on the, the wheel, too. Is that nice? Absolutely beautiful. What a gorgeous car. The period color is beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Really yeah. nice job. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So that's me being a little slow on the video draw there. Demonstration of the anti-theft measure on Our Lady of Grace. Whose name I forget now. Uh, they will group the Porsches together, other marks as well. Um, I'm a Porsche fanatic. I hate to say that at this point, especially with this show, I mean, they've become a dime a dozen, right? GT3s came in GT4s, uh, are a plenty. You usually find some of the latest and greatest, some uh, older modified ones, and ones that I really like are the ones that see track time, so either have like a cage or half cage in them, belts. Oh, that's pretty though. Um, so rolling up here. Yeah, this white one seems some track time. And then uh, I think we're about to see a 356 for sale if anyone wants one. Why is she for sale? I've had it 30 years. <laughs> Alright, that's fair, that's fair. 
time to move on to something else. Nope. All right. What's uh, different about driving this car than like driving your daily? Well, this is a it, it's it's a totally different car. The engine's in the rear. It's a sportier, hand, more handling car, and it's uh, it's just interesting and it's uh it's old so it gets attention yep yep if you threw the keys to anyone would what would they not be able to figure out in there not too much it's a normal car. no computers no plastic go. no uh electrics nice what year 65 oh wow last year in the body style yeah, so this show really covers all the different parking lots here at Waveney. In the background, you can hear the School of Rock cranking out some tunes. Just walking around, checking it out. Here's a Factory 5, so it's a reproduction of the uh, Shelby Daytona Coupe, modern Ford power plant, massive tubes on that uh, tube frame. This gentleman, you can hear him in a second, he's done all the work on this himself. Pretty cool. Tell me something uh, unique about it. Uh, unique, okay. No power steering, no power brakes, tractor engine 95 horse. Um, oh, I know. This is the first car in the US that had disc brakes in the front, bands in the back. But the first car in the US to have disc brakes. Wow. Isn't that cool? Yeah, totally, yeah, ahead of its time. So a lot of fun to drive, originally, um, no sync roads at first, so you had to be stopped. And if you rush, what happens? I've replaced the transmission. Uh, now I have a TR4 transmission, uh, this, which is sync roads all the four. Yeah, yeah. But it, it, it's a fast car, you know, for what it is, uh, and a lot of fun. Awesome. Thanks, man. Thank you. Ask him. All right. Awesome. These are smart ones. All right. So there's all this stuff on the steering wheels. Yeah. Explain like the thing is cold as heck. Yeah, yeah. Go yeah. ahead. Oh, wow. Come on, come on. Let's go. Oh, come come on, go, 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 go. Tell him what's right. going on. It's cold. I'm supposed to start her up for dad so that she's nice and warm before we go. What the heck do I do? Uh, you pull. No, throttle. You pull the open the throttle to open. So like, you're 0 for 2. 0 for 2. Oh man. 0 for 2. Try it again. It's alright. It's alright. You're under 20. You, 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 get a, you get a bunch of mulligans. Exactly. Alright. Um, right, so the only way you start is you're Okay. So right. systems on advancing your distributor cap. Alright. Yep. Now what are we doing about air and fuel? Uh, it's there. Except. Oh, down wow. here. There's an auto vac that right. sucks the gas from the tank in the back. Up. That little brass knob in the middle. Gotcha. You have so to pump that up. manually, like tum, tum, tum. This particular one, no. Okay. That one's actually automatic. <clears throat> okay. Two years earlier, you'd have to pump it. Okay. So you let the fuel in. Mm -hmm. You push the fuel up. Yeah. It's in the carburetor. That's your pumper. You turn on the electrics. Yeah. Okay. All right. Then you advance the retard. Gotcha. Right? Or advance the, the distributor effectively. Yep. Advance. Yep. Okay. Timing set a little put, early. Put the idle up. Idle up. Okay. Okay. And I'm then with you. Hit you. The start button. Yeah. No choke though. Uh, no. Okay. Wow. So it's pretty theft proof then, basically. Yeah, exactly. Well, now you know how to steal it. So. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Don't worry good. about me. You're good. here for a few seconds at almost every car show there's a moment 
that makes me re-examine my life choices. And the Carrera GT just does it for me. I would do terrible things in order to have one of these cars. Just amazing. It's a shame we don't see it running. Alright, back to our show. or weird quirks she's got? No, I just got the bone stock for the last 38 years. Perfect, don't mess with it. Yes. Awesome, thank you. And hopefully maybe there'll be like a tax credit for version. We're actually working right way to go. Uh, some state legislators to get that through in Connecticut because it was uh, passed in California. Right. So we're actually working uh, working with the state of Connecticut to get, to get a bill uh, in the works to get the tax credit. All right, some major style points here. Um, Mitsubishi Pajero Evo, uh, towing a rally car tribute of sorts. I don't think that's caged or really stage ready, but cool as heck. Um, looks like a Trail X uh, aluminum trailer. Could be wrong there. Painted to match. Um, pretty neat, pretty neat. We'll take a look inside. I think this thing's pretty darn clean. Right hand drive, of course. Ah, wood for days. Well, simulated wood for days. Check this out. <laughs> Classic. stop it from one drop to the next and you see that ledge down down not this first ledge but the, the one farthest down there yeah okay well just fill it up to there okay so and it looks like it needs it what do you fill it up with 20 weight oil non-detergent oh like motor oil not the yeah. li not the light oil no just well that's pretty, that's pretty like light. gear oil oh god no okay and, and don't let anybody tell you to put that in the transmission either He's got the 56, the black uh, 56. Excellent. Uh, what's your feeling on Marvel Mystery Oil in a pinch? I don't know what weight it is, really. No one does. No. Nope. <laughs> That's the mystery? Yeah. <laughs> I always wonder. No, I don't, I don't use it. I just, just very gently, just so they're snug. So, yeah, I mean, like three or four drops is probably all it's going to take. But, but that's what controls the operation of I write, I go there all the time. I love this bad guy.
put it from the heater nice. into the air. So that brings hot, and then this chain <coughs> goes in here, and you oh. pull it up, and a shade goes up, so that you've got the shade, no air gets in to keep it you know, in the real That's cold. That's really cool. Then you heat the motor through this, and then you put your cookie tins in, and you're hermetically sealed, and you can drive in like sub zero weather. That's so amazing. It's nuts. That's really cool. Yeah, different. You know, to, it's like I learn something different each time I go to these shows. I, I really appreciate it. I'm like, Dan. Yeah, Mike. Nice to meet you. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Your car yeah, bike? That was really, yeah. really, oh, cool. really cool. Different. It's yeah. eavesdropping on the uh, two stroke, right? Yeah, two stroke, three cylinder, huge horsepower. Oh, yeah. massive. Yeah. I mean, pulling 50 here, right? No, not the 45. Not less. 30? 33. Okay. <laughs> So we got rain coming down, people itching to go. This guy's ready to go in his Jaguar. And someone asked him about the toolbox, and he's more than happy to get out, pull back the cover, and show the old ammo box that he had fashioned into a period-looking uh, toolbox in the back. Just really neat. Switches up top. Yeah. yeah, I love it. Like airplane style. Yeah. Yeah. What's different about it from like your normal 164? Yeah. Uh, so it's a 24 valve, which okay. is the same in 94 and 95. Even the base had that, but it was detuned. Gotcha. So this one it has 232 horsepower, and the base okay. has I think 200. And then this has uh, electrically adjustable suspension, which the regular one doesn't have. That you've maintained, so it still works? I make rebuild kits for them, because I couldn't get any, so I awesome. just made it. So. Yeah, 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 exactly. Uh, but all it is is a solenoid in there that opens a different passageway for the oil to travel. Okay. And, uh, and you the seal is low. Right. Yeah, the solenoids are fine, usually. So you open the cap up, and I just made a carrier with a seal and a wiper. Okay. And then I welded a bong, like a Schrader valve, onto the strut so you could fill it with nitrogen after you service it with oil. Got it. And they work good, yeah. Nice. Um, I keep it in sport, because if you put it in comfort, it like wallows, wallows like a Cadillac. Yeah. Well, the rear end on this thing, is it sophisticated suspension, or is it like a beam? It's like a, a beam, it's yeah. like kind of a torsion bar. Thing, yeah, so like hitting hitting a, a, a bump mid-corner kind of really. A little bit, yeah. yeah it's cool. not, Great at corner, it's not bad. Yeah, mean, that's it's, fantastic. It's fine, but it's awesome. mostly a highway car. Great highway car. I mean, yeah. they they cruise at like 90 miles an hour. Like that's where they want to be. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Is that injected tank? Talk. Tell me about this car. Tell me about driving it. What's different from a normal car? This is a 1992 Lancia Delta Evo 1. Okay. Uh, homologated car. Sweet. It's uh, Group A. It was homologated for Group A racing. Okay, WRC and, type yep, stuff. Yep, yep. And it's uh, fantastic. Very well handling. Very well balanced. Um, it's a classic car, so it has its quirks, yeah, you know. Yeah, top quirk. Yeah. I think it's just got its rattles, which is just kind of period correct, <laughs> you uh, know? It's just fair, rattles, and it's Italian built, so uh, it has its own quirks too. She's a beaut. Thank you, man, appreciate it. Is this a classic car? Uh, yeah, I guess it's classic. 
racing? I think just about, 91, right? 91, yeah. She's 91. cool. I had one just like it. Yeah. Manual and everything. Thank you. Love them. Walk and talk with me. Sure. 65 Volvo. All right. Carburetors. Okay. Fixing and maintaining carburetors is a lost art. <laughs> Hear you on that. Alright, be well. Nice. 30. How's she doing? Good. Any any problems? No problem at all. Oh, fantastic. Happy motoring. Who's smarter, the car or the driver? The car. <laughs> I just sit in it, man. It takes me wherever I need to go. <laughs> That's amazing. What's it like Thanks. to drive? It's an absolute dream. When you put it in track, it makes your hair go on fire. When you have it in just regular, you know, street mode, it's like driving a Toyota, man. It's, oh. it's just super sun. Big go so, kart. Yeah, big go kart. That's exactly the way to put it. Excellent. Shiny yeah. side up. Thank you so much. Take care, man. Howdy. This car is beautiful. Tell me about it. Thank you. 73 BMW 2002. Okay. 1973. You got it. Yeah. 75. By Carl Blue. Ah, uh, excellent. By Carl. Okay. Mine was, uh, and I had a 3.0. Those are sweet. Yeah, those are sweet too. And I had a few uh, 635s. Nice. A true enthusiast. Any idiosyncrasies for a car that's decades and decades old? Uh, just the usual stuff, you know. Burns oil, runs hot. Okay, don't shoot too quickly. <laughs> uh, no, it's great. Wow. Could that's be beautiful. more fun. Cool. Enjoy it. Looks like a reliable car. Oh yeah. <laughs> so far, so good. That's awesome. I only registered it yesterday. Oh. <laughs> There's still time. Yeah. All right. Well, by the time we get there, we're gonna be. All right. Well, I don't care where we go. Yeah. All right. Then I'll meet you there. Car. What makes this car different? Oh, it's just another 2002. Wow, it comes beautiful. Thank you. It's a little, uh, little modded out, but try to keep it somewhat stock, you know. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, that's a. It's it's fun. It's a it's a treat to drive. Nice. Yeah. Well, enjoy it. I appreciate it. Just mechanical, you know what I mean? All yeah, they have yeah. the snow performance kits, all you have to wire it and everything, and that's just fully just on mechanical vacuum and boost. Wow. So under vacuum it does nothing, and then when you boost it, it's got the line that goes up and puts in a pressurized spray right before the supercharger. Okay. The only reason is because it's it, you have to run the water the water that comes out has to hit the impeller so it atomizes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. otherwise you just yeah. You're the other ones have high pressure engine. pumps and a special tip to put right in the intake manifold. Gotcha. But these you have to run either before a turbo or before... Like keeps the supercharger clean. Clean, super clean inside. <laughs> yeah, I took it apart like... Uh, oh, in the spring, I just took it apart to inspect it, check cool, it out. Cool, cool. It was, uh, it so was kind what's of an old school Paxton, seven pounds of boost. What's it like to drive this thing when you when you crank her up then? Yeah, pretty good. I mean, it put... I, I, I dynoed it. It made like 325 okay. wheel horsepower. But so the not engine's... stupid, but... No, it's like 375 flywheel. Yeah, no, right. it's still... Okay. It, it, I mean, it can burn the tires if I wanted to, but it's just a driver. How, how'd you get into Mustangs? Oh, back in the day when they came, when they Got were it. super popular. Got it. We all, we all have. This is my fourth one. <laughs> With rain on the way, and given the show starts pretty early, it was time to head out. Another great season for this show. I want to thank Caffeine and Carbs, Peter Bush, Zumba Coffee, everyone else involved for a great show. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.